South Korean President Yoon suk yeol has vowed to reform state affairs after his party suffered a crushing defeat in yesterday's elections. Uh, the main opposition Democratic Party retained its majority in Parliament, prompting the head of the People Power Party to step down. Uh, the Prime Minister and senior aides of the party have also offered their resignations to take responsibility for the loss. CNA's Lim Yun suk has more. A humiliating defeat for President Yoon sung yeols ruling party. Out of the 300 seats, it won only 108, according to the election watchdog. Meanwhile, a huge victory for the main opposition Democratic Party with 175 seats. Experts say Wednesday's election was seen as a vote of confidence by many of the 44 million eligible voters on President Yoon, who took office in 2022. 중간 선거라고 하는 성격이 있는 거고요. 두 번째로는 물가가 굉장히 높고 일자리는 줄어들고 있고 살기는 어렵고 그렇다고 경제가 나아질 것이라고 하는 희망이나 기대가 없기 때문에 이에 따른 유권자들의 판단, 평가가 실린 선거라고 할수 있죠. While the election result is a huge political blow to President Yoon and his conservative party, the opposition parties fell short of a supermajority. For now, the political stalemate seen over the past two years due to the opposition-controlled parliament is likely to continue, making it difficult for President Yoon. And experts say lots of work needs to be done by President Yoon and his ruling party if they are to regain the trust of the people. It remains to be seen how President Yoon plans to overcome the hurdles and run the country with three years still remaining in office. Lim Yansuk, CNA, Seoul.